Miami Dolphins. The battle for the Lamar Hunt Trophy begins as we're underway in this AFC Wild Card game. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Throwing to start here is Tua. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now a first down throw complete downfield. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 36. Off a of play action, Tug of Iloa. Looking for his tight end on the corner, it's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now Lewis here on first down. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Good running right there. And this is a man who was a 1,000-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. So first and goal and an opportunity for our first points in this wild card game. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before you could get much out of it. From the two now, second and goal. Throwing now is Tunga Bailoa. Steps away. Touchdown! A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins will strike first here in this wild card matchup. So they take the opening kickoff and try to all the way down the field. And that's the last thing you want defensively. On the road, in the playoffs, and now you're down a touchdown right away. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score so nothing. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken from about the 12. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Back to throw. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 
The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. So a nice throw right there. And this, we all know, a big test for this young man at quarterback. He guided his team into the playoffs as a wild card. And now here he is on the road looking to get his guys to the second round. It's certainly a tough task no matter how you slice it. Oh, I absolutely agree 100%. And while no one around the franchise is going to, you know, co-sign on what I'm about to say, because all they're focused on is winning this game. But let's face it, partner, no matter what happens in this one, they've got their quarterback to build their roster around for the future. That's got to feel good for everyone associated. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. After the turnover, it's Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive, and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Ready. A second down run with Lewis. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 37. The kick by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. Anytime you get the ball up, what's the first thing the coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. A very solid gain of 27. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He'll drop to throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And this one he incomplete. I oh, couldn't hang on to it in the end zone and that's one that'll haunt you and now it brings up third down 
That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Rolling to his right. Caught right side. It's Lewis. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Ready? That's caught Waddle on the left side. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to start them out when you do that. Ten nothing to score after one on EA Sports. Show a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 48-yard line. They fake the handoff now. Tua. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline, and this is caught inside the five. It's a big play there for Miami. 44 yards. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bid off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll look to run with Nwongu. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Nwongu, a three-yard touchdown run. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes our score 17-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes, and you're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, it might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He had over 100 catches in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of this wild card game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll set up to throw. 
He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Kamel. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. They'll look to throw again. And again, back to Komet. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. him with second and a yard. Cut my team. Cut my team. Go. Back to throw here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. From eight yards out. And the Broncos get a bit closer. And it's no good. Oh, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Kene Nwagu now out of his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They have to be pleased with the way that they moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Tua sets up to pass it. Got a man, it's Tyquan Thornton. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 52 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Going underneath for Lewis. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you could actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. Tug of Ilo are going to try and throw on third down. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. It'll go in the books as a sack and a loss of a yard, but more importantly, it leads to fourth down. 
Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. So fourth down, two and departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Sanders kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So three points there, they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps, and the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now yeah, take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And bringing it in, it's Davis. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. Big plays always wind up being a big theme as we get rolling in these playoffs. And the defenses that can avoid giving them up, but they're the teams that tend to go far. You may not eliminate those big plays, but if you can limit them, then you've got a chance to touchdown Broncos. Javante Williams from eight yards out. And the Broncos get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions like that? What a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Broncos are going to take over at their own 41. Well, Charles, they're so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. They'll look to throw now on first down. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Dolphins force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great go. question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. Yeah, 
One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Tua, a final shot before half. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. Taken from about the 12. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 and the 24. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the... And he's going to be intercepted a third time. up to 14. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. A nice grab there for a guy coming off a terrific season, one that saw him have over 100 catches. And when you have that many catches, that means you're a full part of the offense. And let's face it, he's been as good as anyone in the NFL this year. So figures he's going to play a big role in whether his team can advance. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Finally held down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. The lessons will continue for this rookie. He's got to learn how to read situations just a little bit better. That far behind the line, he's got to find a way to get rid of the football and not take the sack, whether it's with his legs or just throwing it away. Out of the gun now on third down. Well, this is caught by Williams. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. The Broncos send out their punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets it away, and it's a laser headed for the sidelines. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. First 
touchdown Miami as they get set to start the drive. They start the drive on the ground with Lewis. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Play action. Now it's Tua. Finding water, crossing the field, and bringing it in. And he'll be corralled well on the field right around the 40 yard line. That catch moves him over 100 yards down for this wild card game. And a first down as well. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Sanders now to add the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. After the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken in at the three. And he'll go down at the two-yard line. What a disaster there. The Broncos on the field ready to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it to show him what he's made of. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Boy, Charles, you hate to see this for a rookie quarterback. You're hoping it doesn't shake his confidence, but that confidence, it might be shaken because that is four interceptions for him now in this ballgame. It has to be shaken. Wouldn't be human if you weren't. Doesn't matter whether you're a rookie or a veteran. Four interceptions, you're not sure what you're doing out there. So to me as a coaching staff, I would think very hard about getting him out and trying it again another day. Second down and goal. Tua. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Tua now, third and goal. Steps away to his left. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Sanders' kick is good. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead. 
So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. This one fielded at the five. And he's going to be brought down inside the five at the three. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. A throw left side taken in by Komet. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Second and five. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think is going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached. And now here's another interception. Brandon Jones picking it off. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. After the turnover, it's Tua. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And the Broncos are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Back now in Miami. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll set up a throw. He'll take a shot for Davis to the end zone. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. But look, this is a team, Charles, they faced adversity all year long. They had a fight and claw to win that division. But they're putting it all together here in the wild card game. Feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game, a message to the top seeds. Overlook us at your own peril. We're pretty darn good. They'll try and throw for it. He's got it. So they convert the two that keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they are looking good. A two-score lead here in this fourth quarter as they hope to capture a spot in the divisional round next weekend. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner 
and pound away and try and finish off the game. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Here we go. Here we so go. they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And sensing the momentum, maybe changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown the last time they have the ball, so they should get another shot. fourth down got a man it's Waddle complete and he will have a Dolphins first down as the defense nowhere to be found there a gain of 20 on fourth down boy that was a big gamble for them right there they went for it on fourth down showed a little hood spot because they did it with the lead here in the fourth quarter and this defense is once again unable to stop them now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. You think about this strong safety position. You know, they're the more bulkier guys in the free safety, but that time great athleticism to hustle in and break up that play. They try again with Lewis. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle. And the Dolphins have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that pushes the lead up to 23. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far, and they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and ten. A throw down the field, caught by his running back. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Looking to throw. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 24 yards the game there, another first down as well. He'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. 19 tight. 19 tight. Warrior 17. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. to throw again. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Cole Komet, an 11-yard touchdown. 
And the Broncos are able to cut into that deficit. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. They'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. Remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. Take it in at the three. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And you'd have to say they have done what they set out to do in this wild card round. It won't get easier from here, of course, but they'll certainly have some momentum built up for when they hit the road in the divisional round next weekend. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Take a knee here. Ready. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. them on to the divisional round. Everyone plays all year long for the right to get into the tournament, as they like to call it. Wild card, divisional, doesn't matter to them. One moves on, one goes home. <laughs> 